Now we are going to have discussion on our fifth problem and I have taken this problem from gate 2003 exam and in this problem 12 1 ohm resistances are used as edges to form a cube and we are required to calculate the equivalent resistance between two diagonally opposite corners of the cube. So the first thing we are required to do is to form a cube having the edges as 1 ohm resistors. Now we will have the cube like this. All the edges have 1 ohm resistor and we are required to calculate the equivalent resistance between two diagonally opposite corners. Let's say this corner here is corner A and this corner here is corner B and A and B are diagonally opposite corners. So we are required to calculate the resistance between A and B corners and we will use KVL to calculate the equivalent resistance and to apply the KVL we will connect one voltage source having the voltage V across our terminals A and B. And now let us assume the total current leaving the positive terminal of the source is equal to I and current I will get divided into three currents at this node and all the three currents will have the same magnitude. Let us try to understand this point in more detail and for that we will first name all the corners we are having in this cube. We have already named these two corners A and B. Let's say this corner is C, this corner is D, this one here is E, this corner is F, this corner is G and this corner is H. I said all the three currents will be same because C, H and E are equipotential points. Now, in order to understand why these three points are equipotential points, we need to check the symmetry about A, B. And I will give you one very easy process to check the symmetry whenever you have the skeleton of resistors. Make two columns. The first column is for the first point that is A in our case and the second column is for the second point that is B in our case. By the first point and the second point we mean the two points between which we are required to calculate the equivalent resistance. After this write down all the remaining points which are C, D, E, F, G and the last one is H. Now we will focus on point C which is here and we will try to move to A from C and to B from C. We will first move to A. Here you can see that we have one edge having the resistance 1 ohm and we know the fact that all the edges have the 1 ohm resistance. Therefore, we will simply count the number of edges. So from C to A, we need to travel one edge. I will write one here. And then from C to B, we need to travel two edges. You can choose this path or this path. You have to travel two edges. Therefore, I will write two. Similarly, from D to A, we need to travel two edges from D to B only one edge, from E to A one edge, from E to B two edges, from F to A two edges and from F to B one edge, from G to A we need to travel two edges and from G to B only one edge 
and finally from H to A one edge and from H to B two edges. So this is what we have. Now you can notice that for C, for E and for H we have 1, 2, 1, 2 and 1, 2. Therefore C, E and H all are equipotential points and let's say they have the potential V1. Now when you focus on the remaining three points you will find for them we have 2, 1, 2, 1. Therefore D, F and G are symmetrical and are equipotential points. Therefore we have same potential at D, F and G and let's say the potential is V2. And whatever we have analyzed here is for A and B that is we want to calculate the equivalent resistance between A and B. In question if they ask you to calculate the equivalent resistance between C and D then the scenario will change. Maybe in the coming lectures we will discuss this case as well but for now we will focus on calculation of resistance between A and B. Now we know the fact that C, H and E are having the same potential and if we consider B at potential 0 then A will be at potential V. Why? Because potential difference across A and B is equal to V. Now when you calculate the current in this branch you will find the current is equal to voltage that is V minus V1 divided by the resistance which is 1 and in this branch the current will be V minus V1 divided by 1 same current and in this branch current will be V minus V1 divided by 1 again the same current so all the three branches will have the same current and therefore I will be divided into three equal parts that's why current will be I by 3 in this branch I by 3 in this branch I by 3 in this branch now we will focus on this current I by 3 at this particular node current I by 3 will get divided into two currents and both the currents will have the same magnitude we can say this because we can see that voltage across this resistor is equal to V1 minus V2 and voltage across this resistor is V1 minus V2. So same voltage is there across the two resistors having the same value. So current will get divided equally therefore we have I by 6 in this branch I by 6 in this branch. Similarly this current will get divided at this node into I by 6 and I by 6. This current will get divided here into two currents I by 6 and I by 6. Now when we focus on D node we can see that I by 6 is the entering current I by 6 is the entering current therefore according to KCL the leaving current will be equal to I by 6 plus I by 6 that is I by 3 and at G node I by 6 is entering current I by 6 is entering current therefore the leaving current is I by 3 similarly I by 6 is entering current at F and I by 6 is entering current at F therefore the leaving current is I by 3 now at node B you can see that I by 3 is entering I by 3 is entering I by 3 is entering therefore the leaving current will be equal to I by 3 plus I by 3 plus I by 3 that is I. Now we are having currents in all the edges of our cube and therefore we can apply KVL and have the equivalent resistance. You can apply KVL in any path you like but I will apply KVL in this particular path. 
we will start from our source therefore we have plus v plus v then we have minus i by 3 multiplied to 1 which we can write as minus i by 3 then we have minus i by 6 multiplied to 1 which is minus i by 6 then we have minus i by 3 multiplied to 1 which is minus i by 3 and after this we move back to our source therefore equal to 0 this we can write as v minus inside the bracket i by 3 plus i by 6 plus i by 3 equal to 0 or we can write v minus 6 in the denominator and in numerator we have 2 times i plus i plus 2 times i equal to 0 this will give us v minus 5 over 6 multiplied to i equal to 0 or we can have v divided by i which is equal to the total resistance between a and b that is r a b equal to 5 over 6 ohms so this is our answer and when you look at the given four options you will find option a is the correct option